Well, hello and welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today, we're gonna to install a light fixture right here on the garage. Uh, now, there was a building up here temporarily and this light was removed. Uh, now that is down and you can see we got some resid residual um, caulking and stuff that has to be dealt with at a later date. But for now, we just wanna get a light block plate put back on here and put a light in place. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. We'll show you how to do that. First thing we wanna do is determine whether we're dealing with live wire or not. So if it is, we'll shut the power to it. If it's not, then we're gonna be all set. I just got this tester right here. I will uh, put a link for this in the description. There's several different versions of these, um, but you can see it's giving off an audible sound and a blinking red light, which means there is power to this circuit, this wire. So we're gonna to wanna to shut that off before we go too far. Um, although this is gonna be a very a relatively easy um, installation. Um, but just keep in mind, I am not a licensed electrician, so this is for entertainment purposes only. If you need to do this yourself and you don't know what you're doing, always hire a professional to do these type of things. So I've uh, determined there was power. I ended up shutting the power off to this, so we're all set now. We're going to go ahead, and this is actually a plate that was up here originally. So we're just going to go ahead and feed these wires back through this plate like so. And you can see this plate has notches here. It's designed to go against the siding. And we're just going to slide it up into position like it was and uh, that'll help stop any water from getting behind next it's going to fit right up tight to the siding hopefully you can see that right there and then i'm just going to go ahead and put uh, a couple of screws in it now i'm going to make sure i get the screws in beyond where the light fixture is going to be and you can see there's an old ring here and that's about probably the same size of the new light fixture it's going to be a little bit different but i don't want the screws beyond where the fixture is going to be so they're exposed so they're going to go in behind just like this and they'll be covered up by the light fixture itself when that goes on and these are not the best screws to use for this but they will work be attack oh sorry uh, like i said they will work we were just kind of attacked by a bee um, and you don't want to over tighten them and we're going to have a gasket around this anyway so the light fixture so it'll seal all that up anyway so uh so now once that's in place we just got to get our light fixture and uh, we'll get ready to mount that all right so i got the light fixture we're going to use and i am going to actually take these screws back out and go through the fixture and through the um, mounting plate all at once and through my gasket so all of it will be together up in position and uh, that way it'll be all I won't be adding more holes to this um, here and those holes look like they're lined up with this here so uh, that should work out just fine so give me a second here I'm gonna have to un uh, you know take these wire nuts off actually I can show you that process here of getting these all wire nutted together hold on one second all right you're gonna want to make sure you run the gasket through these wires first so it's in and out of the way and then go ahead and start hooking your wires up I'm going to do the ground first and I'm going to do the white which is the common and then I'll do the power so I got the wires all wired out in position and then I've angled them in such a way that if water were to get in behind here it doesn't settle in the um, wire nuts themselves and then I'm going to line up the gasket and everything and get this pressed into place and I had, did end up deciding to leave the other screws in the plate, and then I'm just going to mount this to it uh, afterwards. I just got to get everything lined up and then get some screws and then mount this in position. But again, I think it's important to angle these up like this, not down. So if water were to get in behind, it's not running down the wires and collecting in the wire nest themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more screws and get this mounted, and then we'll uh, show you the finished product. This is um, all secondhand stuff so obviously it's not put together with all the right stuff and again i'm just showing you this is how you could mount a light it's very simple this little project need to be done i just use sheetrock screws i am going to um i had to put them in place i'm sitting here trying to hold it in with the wires but i'm going to go ahead and get some flat uh, flat back rounded head screws so they sit flush and then of course i'll silicone this up uh, as well as on the top but the gasket's all in there and it is underneath the eave and of course the way this is designed the water is going to run off the siding and go down of course this mess here is a project for another day from the building that was here uh, all you gotta do now is put a bulb in here and i'll put the cap back on the top of it and we'll be good to go uh, thanks for swinging by shane's main shop please like subscribe comment if you have any uh, questions put them down in the description uh, i'm sorry put them down in the comment section 
Uh, I'll put a couple links down there for the tools I use in case uh, you uh, need them or if you're interested. Uh, but again, if you are unfamiliar with any of this type of stuff, make sure you hire a professional. This is for entertainment purposes only, uh, but hopefully uh, you were entertained and maybe even learned something along the way. There's many ways to do this. Like I said, I am not a professional, and this was all secondhand stuff. I'm just putting up a light here temporarily after we removed the building that was in between here. Thanks for swinging by Shane's Made Shop. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.